Welcome back to another Advanced Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time we're going to do something like this. So we have this bomb and then it will subtract a specific amount depending how close you are. So for example once we do that well, a little bit closer, bam, or for example if we do that directly under the feet, well almost no health left and for example once we do something like this, bam, just a little bit of damage. So if you wanted to know how to do that in Game Maker Studio, stay tuned. This is OneUp Indie. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video. So just for the setup, this should be quite easy. I have this player here. Then on the top left it displays the health and once I press the right mouse button, bam, I can reload the health to 100 and for example this guy is exploding and well, it consists of two things which is basically my bomb which I'm not gonna go into detail but for example if you wanted to do a bomb which is just blinking and blinking every time faster, but well, this is how you can do it, you just set up an alarm and once the alarm is set you just say alright what kind of blend am I having? And then of course you just sw swap between those two and then you decrease your time. And then you say alright, let's do another alarm. And then of course the time will be slow, uh, smaller and smaller and then it appears that it's blinking faster and faster. And then at some point I say alright, let's say if we are lower than 5 uh, of the rest of the time which we're having then destroy that thing and once we destroy it well create on the specific point the explosion and then we are pretty much done with the bomb because the interesting part is in the explosion for here I have dealt or I just set up a maximum damage of 100 so for example is if the X position is exactly on the X position of the target so the player then it would do a full 100 damage. For example this is just a number you can change that whatever you like and then for example once the animation ends well we pretty much destroy that thing and just for setup so you understand what's going on um well it's just an explosion bam 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 I set it to the middle center which is kind of important and now we come to the interesting part. So how do we set up that? So basically what we're having is my player. Then he's just checking, all right, am I in the blast radius? Okay. This is signified by the bounding box, which you have in Game Maker Studio. Uh, collision mask here, bam. And then for example, I set it up manually. Why? Because I wanted to do, well, something like this. So basically a center middle center let's go for not for the collision mask but for example i want to send that a little bit something like this so this is the middle point then i spawn around it my bb box so these are the points for the bounding box so this is just the collision mask and then we do something like this are we inside this collision well and then we toggle and do a damage to the player but just once because we want to do it once and then we reset it so here our player has like invincibility set to false once he hits gets one hit his invincibility is well set out to to true because well he cannot be hit multiple times and then there's a timer which resets that but i don't want to go into that i did that in other videos so this is not important but here we just want to calculate it all right so we have our player he's inside our blast radius which is our bounding box our collision mask but how can we do well a uh, calculation and that is pretty in, uh, well not too, too difficult we have let's say our x y position of our explosion which is here and then we need to, to have two points one point which is calculating a distance to one of those borders because well this should be almost well in the middle so this is the maximum distance we can have to um, for example here that would be a directed 100 uh, damage death and here this would be I don't know five or less and once we are getting out of here well 
this is nothing and we do a second distance calculation to our player so how far is this distance and how far is this, this distance and then we command them and then we say this will be a value between 0 for example 0 is if for example the player is outside oh, I don't know let's say 0.5% and that we multiply with the damage so how can we do that well quite easy as you can see bam I did this manually so the centering and here the bounding boxes are quite important so this stuff works so bye 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 draw you can do something like this draw yourself and then draw the rectangle which is well the bounding box or the collision mask whatever you want to call it and then I just draw the uh, rectangle on the explosion so you actually see where the explosion is taking place so you can just debug if you like so let's get right into that stuff so because this is the more interesting part so first of all what we are doing is we are checking for a collision so how can we do and check for a collision basically we just go collision rectangle then we check our well if it's a rectangle we need four points and we go our left point our right point which is the x and, and x2 and then the top and the bottom and voila you have a box or rectangle or whatever you want to call it and then because this is collision rectangle it needs an object to well target to so for example it's checking a collision with it so basically this is our target our player and then these two guys you can actually ignore because they're not too interesting and well for now this code is doing nothing it's just checking all right are we having a collision if yes return to me the id so the instance which we are well hitting so this is kind of interesting so we have our target and then we're checking all right is our target no one so if you have seen that that just means um that um we are actually hitting something for example if we are always all the time while do that in the step event while the explosion is being happening and then it will return no one because it can only return no one so it's hitting nothing or it is returning some sort of id well then we do something and what do we do well a few calculations which are not too difficult but well um, they need to be done and here i just did that because i don't want it to be completely spammed and that's why i say bam our target so which is our player has some invincibility and for example once we are hitting this guy so we have a target and it's not invincible let's strike it and that's why we just go all right reset its invincibility because we just want it to be hit once so you can see that we are subtracting some health and here we come to the calculation part which is the more interesting part for that we need a few things first of all we need to distances so and once I, I just showed you for example we need a point from our middle here to well to one of those bounding points because this is a rectangle you can, you can choose this point or this point or this it doesn't really matter but we just go something like this and then we need to calculate the distance and how do we calculate distances with point distance so we just go point hello distance and we just say all right x y because why not and then from our target x and y so here we go and here we got our first distance and that we call or i just call it install it into another variable distance to target and for now we are pretty much fine but we need need a second distance and that i call distance to our box which is the total amount we can actually have so here the code is the same we start at well, the x and y of our explosion here but here we need values which we already have and then we say right left and say top of course i showed you well top and right but i'll just use the left one. it doesn't really matter 
and then you have two values. And, and now we can actually calculate something which I call relative, but this is basically just a value between zero, almost zero and one. Relative. And then what do we do? We just go take our full length, which say, let's say it's 200 minus the length which we got from here. And then we divide it by the full length. So what you're getting here is just basically a value between 1 and 0. And the bigger the number is, so it meaning the closer the target is, well, the bigger the number will be, so basically it will be closer to 1, and then you're getting your damage. And the last thing is subtract damage, and I just call that again with another variable, I just call it end damage. So I just take, how did I call it? The damage thingy, which is 100 of maximum and multiply it with our relative thingy here and bam and then we got our end damage and of course we just have calculated how much damage we are dealing so we need to subtract it from the player so we just take already I just copy paste it because I am lazy um, I just take the player its HP and just well, say minus the end damage. And here we go. This is how you can do that. Of course, if you don't want to have some, um, well, well, not round numbers, you can just go and say round. Then we don't have something like, I don't know, 50.31 or something because you want it to be like an even numbers. You can do that too. Now, of course, this is a relative value. So, for example, once we started, we get. Let's zoom out a little bit, bam, 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 and see 100, bam, 68, 19, and for example, if we are getting <laughs> below, bam, 5 HP points left. But for example, if you're just saying, okay, I don't want it to be relative, I don't want it to be with zones, you can do that too, but then of course you have to define not the relative position here, but for example, a zone. For example, if the distance is between, I don't know, zero and 10, we are in the high blast zone and then the damage is like this. And for example, if we are in the other bubble, so for example, you can just, I don't know, do something like this. This is the high damage circle, so everything which is in here, bam, 100%. And for example, second circle, just 50% and so on. But here the solution is uh, well for relative distances but of course you can adapt it to that. Hopefully that was of interest to you. Have a good one. One up indeed.